Hello you guys, welcome back to another deck list for you today. Today we're going to be going over Shift Redonk. Um, now, if you just watched our last video on Bronzong Break, um, this is going to be built very similarly to that where it is going off of a donk. However, it is uh, different in the fact that you don't need to play 18 energies, so you have 18 more spots to fill with other random crap. So it's going to look a lot jankier, but it's uh, I think it's a little bit better. Reason being is because uh, you need to play all these devolution effects anyways for Shiftry. The Devo Spray, um, Hyper Devolution Spray, Scoop Up, uh, scoop up Cyclone, um, that sort of thing. Uh, to reuse uh, Shiftry over and over again. So if you do that with uh, Porygon 2, you can reuse, you can keep downloading supporters. So you can keep downloading trump cards so you can keep going. We did a sample hand with this and it took an hour. It took an hour to run through one turn of Shiftry, uh, and we flipped 20 coins on Giant Fan um, during that process. Yes, like, once per trump card, like, you only hit one or two Giant Fans, um, and it does kind of um, hinge on your Recycle Flips and your Good Rop Flips to see how many you can hit, if you can hit any bonus ones. Uh, but outside of that, Shiftry does have that, um, the fact that if you, if you give it give it an inch, it'll take a mile. Um and it's kind of crazy. The other thing about this deck is that it doesn't require you to go off turn two. It can, and most of the time it does go off turn two, but unlike Bronzong, you don't have to get it turn two. You can kind of just chill, wait for them to break a, um, a, a Spirit Tomb lock. You can wait for them to retreat and set up, uh, knock something out. You really don't care, because all you need to do is have that one turn where you can just giant fan all the Pokemon away. So it does have a little bit of extra longevity behind that. You're not necessarily looking to dunk, um, but you can. So we are going to play a 2-2-1 two, two, line here. Now if you notice, they are grass types. That's so you can take advantage of both Broken Time Space and Forest of Giant Plants. Even though Broken Time Space is going to be a lot better, so you can keep scooping up your Porygon 2 and reusing um, Trump Card. Uh, you still have Forest for those turns where you only need, like, turn 2 if you go second and they don't start Spirit Tomb, and you only need to hit one or two Shift Reflips. You know, Forest will do just fine there. So 2-2-1 two, two, line there. Uh, uh, the other thing about this deck, too, that uh, that Bronzong lacks is the fact that Shifter doesn't have to be in the active. So we don't have to play Floatstone, Fluffy Berry, Switch, that sort of thing. We can, you know, there's no bad starts for this deck because your active Pokemon can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, we are going to play one Ditto for Ditto Bollock. Uh, limits their bench size to four. You could also play the new Sudowoodoo. It does have more HP. However, this Ditto does have one retreat cost, and I think I like that a little bit more. Even though there are only two energies, um, it does activate uh, Unknown Q on Ditto, so you can free retreat it if you ever need to get it out of the active. Speaking of unknowns, we're playing Unknown R and Unknown um, AOR, both for um, extra draw power, plus, like I said, that Unknown Q, just in case we need to get something out of the active. We are playing an Apom from Unseen Forces. You can only use this once per turn, so if you if you uh, trump card five or six times in a turn, you can only do Snappy Move once, but it is a draw power. And then you also have Giratina for Let Loose, Shuffle and Draw 4. It does get you out of some tricky situations if you ever get backed into a corner with your cards. And then Execute, uh, just to kind of keep cards into your hand, you can manipulate your hand size pretty easily with Execute. There's a lot of cards that say discard, you know, two cards, and Execute kind of just helps you with that whole um, uh, maintaining hand size process. Uh, support Pokemon, you're going to see the 1-1 one, one, uh, Claydol in here, because unlike Bronzong, this deck doesn't need to go off turn 2, so Claydol is just fine. You're going to see the 2-2 two, two Porygon line. Like I said, the Porygon 2, being able to de-evolve it, re-evolve it over and over again, help your turn last a really long time. Growth Lapis and Uxie to keep your turn uh, going a little bit. And then Shaman, just for that extra draw power, one of the few decks that actually plays Shaman EX over Uxie. Well, not over Uxie, but one of the few decks that actually plays Shaman EX. So. Supporters, a little bit different than Bronzong. You're going to have both uh, Juniper and Sycamore again. But instead of uh, Lysander and Guzma, we have AZ and Brimies. Uh, hopefully to reuse your um, your Porygon 2 over and over again, or your Shifter over and over again. And then this one actually has Trump Card, because you're going to keep you're going to want to keep going through your deck as many times as possible. So these five is all you really need for Supporters. Now for Items, I apologize. I did not sort these. There are so many. There are actually more than there are in Bronzong. That's how many there are. That's over 60. I actually legitimately could probably count it real fast. Um, so there's five there. This, these are all the non-item based cards. So it's 10, 15, 20, 25, <coughs> oh, excuse me, 25, 30, 
26 plus these five, so that's 31 non-item cards. That means there are 69 hey. item cards in the deck. That is an absurd amount of cards. We don't play any tool cards either. So that's 69 pure item cards that aren't tools, that aren't, uh, oh, well, I guess 70 if you include Scoop Up Cyclone, but 69 item base cards. That's a lot of cards. That is, wow, 70% of your deck. It's crazy. So, item base cards, all search cards, all draw cards, all de-evolve cards, that sort of thing. That's what we're going to be looking for here. Level ball, mail from Bill, old bicycle. Pokey radar, look at the top five and find as many Pokemon as you can. That's going to help you set up. Uh, old rod, that's just, God, we just have such bad cards in this deck. If both are heads, you get to recover a basic, uh, or a Pokemon. If both are tails, you recover a trainer card. So you're really always going to hope for double tails there. Bell draw two. Master balls, look at top seven, pick a Pokemon. Planes Quiz 3, you're playing all three of them. I probably should have clumped them like the last video, but hey, Planes Quiz 3. Oak and Misty's Wrath are going to find in every single deck, and no reason for them not to be in here. Uh, Gym Badge for extra draw power. Victory Cup as a uh, as a pseudo Pokeball. Yeah, we are running Pokeball in a deck for once because we just need every sort of draw and search power we can. Uh, Revitalizer, so that if uh, the turn that you want to spite, um, start getting your stuff. If your uh, CDOT and Nuzly find their way into the discard pile, uh, Revitalizer can be used to recover pretty easily. Pokemon Retriever to recover cards every discard. Uh, Junk Arm, it's a card in every deck, but really good in this one. Uh, good Rod from um, Triumphant. Uh, flip a coin of heads, search discard pile for a Pokemon. If Tails, search deck for a, a trainer card. So we're going to want Tails on that one as well. Devo Spray to reuse Giant Fan. Great Ball to grab probably unknown. Hyper Devo Spray to reuse that uh, uh, giant fan over and over. Mr. Fuji to shuffle back in um, uh, Shaman and Uxie. Scoop a Scoop Up to reuse giant fan, hopefully. Pokedex Handy to draw cards. Repeat Ball, that's going to be probably on Unknowns. You could grab Sea because you could get like a 2 2 1 line if you really wanted to. X Transceiver. <laughs> yeah, we're playing X Transceiver. This is how just horribly like we need to fill spots cards we have. Um, if you can think of cards that are like better than x Transceiver and Old Rod and that sort of thing, just play them. This deck just needs to go through the deck. Uh, x Transceiver, flip a coin of head, search deck for a supporter. Time Space Distortion for recovery. Versus Seeker, so you can reuse that uh, that trump card over and over again. Battle Compressor, because on your second and third and fourth times through your deck, uh, you're going to want to get rid of that stuff like Apom, stuff like Execute, stuff like that. Um, so Battle Compressor helps thin it out a little bit. Victory Metal, like I said, you just need every search card in the in the entire format. Uh, Blaine's Quest 2, extra Blaine card. Fastball, help you draw through your deck. Card Flip Game, you just need draw cards. Poke Nav, horrible, horrible card, but we need to play it. Uh, Soup Teleporter, extra ways of searching and getting that Uxie off your bench. Bicycle, draw until you have four. Breeder Fields, it's just Timer Ball, but old. Uh, roller Skates, Shuffle Draw 3. God, we're only like halfway through. Uh, Pokey Drawer. That may be one that confuses you because you're like, hey, don't you only get to play one card and Pokey Draw is not as good? Yeah, it's not as good, but like, you still get to draw a card with it, so like, it does help you blast through your deck. Uh, friend Ball, Extra Search, Random Receiver, you're going to kind of, I mean, there's really nothing you can Random Receiver into that you don't want to hit, so good card there. Buddy Buddy for Recovery, you're probably going to use that on Unknowns. Nest Ball for Unknowns. Trainer's Mail, not a great card in like, normal U150 circumstances, but in this circumstance, yes, because... You have 70 item cards. Uh, Blaine's Gamble, extra ways to draw. Same with Erica and Blaine's Vassal Resort, just ways to draw cards. Same with Secret Mission. Uh, Ruin Wall, we are playing this. It grabs an unknown, it helps you draw a card. That's the level of, like, we need to fill spots that we have. Uh, Pokemon Trader, searching for stuff. Sabrina's Gaze really helps you for when you hit those dead end turns. Mary, extra way to draw cards. Bill's Teleporter, flip and draw four. Scoop Up, gonna be used to reuse your, um, your Uxie and Shaman mostly, but you can also scoop up your Porygon. It will discard the Porygon too, but you have so many recoveries like Buddy Buddy that you can just get them back by being able to scoop them up. Uh, computer Search, standard card in every deck. Lieutenant Search is Treaty. You don't really care if they take prizes because you're just trying to fan away all their stuff. Pokeball, like I said, we're playing Pokeball in this deck. How bad is that? Desk Ball, ways to search. Revive, it's going to probably almost always grab Unknown. Pokemon Retriever to reuse stuff in the discard. Acrobike, extra draw. There's Blaine's Quiz 1. We're still going here. Uh, Recycle. Probably going to grab a scoop of Cyclone back. Timer Ball. Search deck for some evolutions. Item Finder in every deck. No exception here. Uh, Evo Soda. Um, this won't work with Giant Fan, but it's a way to set up your stuff. Ultra Ball. Ways to search out cards. And Luxury Ball. Both staple in every single deck. 
Four more to go. Uh, Knight Teleporter, flip and search it for one card, put it in your hand, shuffle the rest. That's going to grab your Professor Oak, most likely. Reserve Ticket, flip and search it for one card. There's a lot of these cards that are just like draw one card off the top of your deck, so Reserve Ticket goes well with, for instance, that one of Pokeblower. Uh, Pokemon Communication Search, and Pokemon Rescue for Recovery. Holy crap, that is 69 items for you. I hope you're following along, because it's literally like every playable item in the game. Oh my gosh, I'm going to stack all these back up now. It's the worst. I can just put them in one big pile. Greedy's building decks right now, and he'd probably kill me. Just say, figure it out, stupid. So, oh, and i got to go over the last six cards now, but you can probably guess what they are. If I just told you there were six cards left, you can probably guess what at least a few of them are. Um, stadiums, there's really only going to be two. Like I said, the Forest of Giant Plants for your uh, Shift Tree, and the Broken Time Space for the Shift Tree to reuse them over and over again. We are going to play Scoop of Cyclone as our only A Spec Elite 4. Uh, you don't really need the other ones. You don't need to slow them down. Goop doesn't friggin' help you at all. Uh, you don't need anything in the active. That doesn't matter at all. So Scoop of Cyclone is the only card. And then we are going to play a, uh, a Cyclone Energy. I uh, just kind of get out of Spirit Tomb Lock. You don't need Spirit Tomb uh, like, uh, to get out of Spirit Tomb Lock, but if there was a card that prevented you from doing something for as an active, Cyclone is just like a one-of way of preventing that from happening. And then Retro Energy, when you attach it, you get a discard the top evolution. So it's just one extra way to get out Shift Re if you need to, but like I said, you only can use that once per turn because it is an energy attachment. So that's Shift Re. It's kind of a crazy deck. It does work a lot of the time, but it is vulnerable to those um, Spirit Tune starts and Hex Looping. But outside of that, it will beat almost anything. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good one.